Hey, yo, check this out. Uh, this is your boy Picasso out of the pole from Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius, intellectual idiots, whack pictures from Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna take a look, uh, just a few moments of your time to speak upon the uh, Barack Obama, the controversial Barack Obama's educational speech that uh, that's been uh, the talk of uh, a lot of news channels of, as of late. I was, I was looking at CNN, Associated Press. Yahoo, and a lot of people, and a lot of parents, a lot of students, uh, a lot of eat teachers, whatever, don't don't want to see Barack Obama give the speech. And uh, I think that uh, a lot of people are uh, they are they missing the main objective of, of what Barack Obama is trying to get across or whatever. They, he's trying to get across that kids need to uh, they need to uh, achieve greatness. They need to uh, take the, they need to take their education a lot more serious than what they've been taking or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, they need to uh, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. And a lot of people, maybe they, they misconstruing Barack Obama, uh, the person who's given the, the message, and, and, and not looking at the, the main objective or the main goal or the, the main the, the main idea, the, what he's trying to get across, the point he's trying to get across. And that's about taking your education serious, achieving a lot in life. And when I seen the article, I was like, wow. People gonna really, really take this, uh, this opportunity to not show it in their schools and not let their kids watch it because they don't like Barack Obama because he's a Democrat and a Republican or they just don't like him because he's black or whatever whatever reason may be. I'm a Barack Obama supporter, make no mistake about that. But the words that I'm coming to you right now is not coming from that agenda. I'm coming from the agenda of a person from right and wrong, no matter who's giving the speech. Barack Obama won't want all of our kids and you and everybody to take our education serious. So you tell me what's wrong with that. I don't. I would. I would hate for for any of us to miss a golden opportunity for our kids to learn something of immense opportunities because us parents and us grown ups are being stubborn and bullheaded. Like I, I can even speak upon myself. When I was younger, I was real arrogant and stubborn, full of foolish pride, and I missed out on a lot of cool opportunities that I could have been a part of. A lot of historical moments. I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't hear it. I wouldn't see it because I was full of it. And we might miss the opportunity, man. I, I, uh, you act as if, some people act as if Barack Obama is gonna get on that speech and be cussing and throwing up game signs and disrespecting women or disrespecting men or what it, whatever. You, and you know that's not the case. And, and we gotta take not, and we gotta take this education real serious because it's a lot of, uh, the economy these days is real messed up. So by the time a lot of these kids that need to see that speech get old enough to understand the importance of it, uh, how important it really is, the economy really gonna be messed up more than what it really is right now. Cause when I was coming up, we didn't have the opportunities that a lot of the kids have now. We didn't have a lot of opportunity that a lot of the kids have now. We didn't have the information superhighway and all this technology and YouTube and MySpace and Twitter and Facebook and the blogs like Blogger and WordPress. We didn't have all those all, all those tools that was like conduits to the people. To get, our edge, to get our point across. We just had to do it the grassroots way of just learn. I, I learned how to type on the typewriter. Now everybody got Macs and Dells and things of that nature. And I just want to keep parents out there to not forget the, uh, forget the person who's, forget if Barack Obama, forget, just look at the message. And you cannot sit there and tell me with an honest, straight face that, 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 that your kid's getting a better education, that your kid's getting um, achieving higher goals in life is a bad thing. Now I know I know a lot of people don't agree with Barack Obama on his health care issues or his social issues, and I'm not even an intellect. I'm by no I'm by no means necessary to consider myself an intellect or some guy who's even skilled skilled enough uh, or who's trained enough to even speak upon this subject. I'm just speaking from what's white and what's white what's right and what's wrong. And I know right from wrong. I have a daughter right now that, that's in high school. I'm not gonna even claim. I'm not gonna even. I'm not even the best father to her that I could be. But I, maybe some younger guy that's a lot younger than me, or see me, or see Barack, or whoever. All, everybody, everybody who's for the uh, positivity, say, you know what? I'm, when I get older, I'm gonna take my life more serious. I know a lot of times people see me on the videos with um, ENT doing Aquarius or the Fat Album in the Hood or whatever, and they might see me do look, look cool stuff in the background. But I'm not rich, and I, and and, and uh, a lot of the opportunities that I had, I, I blew them over. And that's the reason why I'm in the situation I'm in now. I lost everything by March. I hurt my leg, I lost my apartment. I hurt, my, I messed my leg. I got a big lump on my lap. I can walk thanks to people that helped me out. And I just had to, I went to, I went to the um, hospital. They wouldn't even let me uh, do nothing because I didn't have no insurance. That comes from not using my opportunity when I was young and I wouldn't be in these, 
this dire straits that I'm in right now. I don't even have, I lost everything, so make no mistake about it. But if my education, and I'm not even a dumb person, but if I would have took my education when I was younger, when I went to school for broadcast after I graduated and I took it a lot more serious, I wouldn't even be in the situation I'm in right now. This is not even my house. And I'm just, I have to be real with you to let you know the importance of education. I know a lot of times we joke and people think that I'm a, a silly weird dude, which I am very, very, very abstract, eccentric, out there kind of guy. But there comes a time when every man gotta be serious. So make no mistake about it. I take everything in life extremely serious. When it's time to, it's a time for playing, it's a time for joking, it's a time for being serious, it's a time for everything. And I want all you teachers, I'm, I'm talking to all you teachers, all you students, all you parents, whatever. I want you to know that you need to let your kids watch the Barack Obama speech. And if, you, if your schools don't, all you kids out there, I want you to log on to YouTube or Facebook or MySpace or Twitter. Uh, my black man with blog.com I'll put the black man with blog thing at the end of this and I want you to uh, watch it I'm going to post it somebody out there going to have the Barack Obama speech and I want everybody to take this stuff serious and don't all you kids out there don't make the same, same mistakes I made don't have kids out of wedlock don't have unprotected sex you shouldn't even be having sex no way all you young kids out there you should be getting your education but in case you do use protection man don't, uh, treat all you, bro, all you all you fellas out there treat your women right all you women out there respect yourself Respect your bodies or whatever. I know sometimes me and TV go hard on the women on them, but that's because we just got a sense of humor. But young women out there, we would never do things like that. You young women out there, you respect yourself and treat your bodies right. Don't use drugs, man. I mean, and you can only learn this stuff and get an education. And some of us think we're smarter than what we are, but we're not. You're not. And listen to your parents. You're not smarter than you think. I thought I was smarter than I thought I was when I was young. And now, and now that I look back on it, like, man, I really wasn't so smart as I thought I was. Because if I was, I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in now. So check out that Barack Obama speech today. I'm posting this up. Feel free to leave your comments. I'm, I'm the kind of guy I believe in freedom of speech, and I, 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 I don't believe in censorship. You speak your mind, whether you agree with me, agree with me not. Peace. And everybody have a nice day, man. And remember, seek knowledge from cradle to the grave. The cost for while I'm both, and I'm out.